hello and welcome back guys guess what we're in the kitchen and we're going to make something so nice crunchy like a snack for tea for what i don't know for us we use it anyway for tea but in case this is also in your country you would let me know what you guys use it for guys this is half cakes and this right here we're going to use it for making it this is all purpose flour so i'm going to pour this in the pan we're going to make dough so that right there is the flour then we're going to add in some what butter or blue bun or margarine I don't know whatever you have so that will do and then there is some sugar right here we're going to add this later on and then there is some cooking oil right here we're also going to use it and then there is also some salt here we're also going to use it but a little salt and then we also have some baking powder so straight away guys let's go ahead and first mix this in So here we're going to put in some sugar to your taste. For people who don't have so much sugar, you don't need to add a lot. And then we're going to put a little bit of salt. And also some baking powder. Very little, you don't need much. We also have this some lemon, but we're just going to add the cover, the hard cover. Lemon zest. Just to give it some taste and also preserve. everything together so when it's evenly mixed like this then we can add another water this is some um, a bit warm should I say lukewarm yeah something like that so we're going to add in slowly by slowly like you don't need to add just at once to ensure that your dough comes out perfect not so not so watery not so hard as well just medium And here we are guys, our dough seems perfectly mixed, it's not sticking anymore, so I'm going to make a bowl and leave it to rest for something like 25 to 30 minutes, 
as I work on the fire. So I'm just going to sprinkle some flour here because I'm going to put the dough right here. Right here is how the dough looks like. So you can see the color, the word, the texture. Let's check out. And, it's so, and of course it is soft. Like I'm not sticking. Yeah. Meaning it's good. So it's time to roll it. So you don't need to put it so thick. Because if you do so, the inside of your of what you're cooking will not get ready. And also, you don't make it so light again, so it's kind of moderate. You have to be keen on that. At this point we are going to cut and the size and the shape will all depend on how you like it oh yeah the more can match i'm calling this girl to set the fire already <laughs> mm. you notice i'm making different sizes different shapes just i just want to Some are shapeless. <laughs> ah, I just choose to. For as long as you don't make it thick, that is all that matters. When you don't make it too thick, because I told you it will not get ready inside. If it's too thick. So at this point, guys, one thing I need to maybe make clear is personally, I prefer to put the like I add this into the oil before the oil heats up to the maximum because I know when I when the oil is too hot it tends to get brown on the cover like on the outside but when inside it's not ready remember it's a bit thick so I've noticed that when I put in when the oil is too hot it gets too brown here but inside is normally raw so I choose to add this when the oil is not very hot by the time the oil it's heats up at least it will be getting ready also along the way so let's just do this already before the oil gets too hot. Kindly please let me know how you do yours, like how you manage it and make sure it, it gets ready on the inside. As for me, that is what I do. So I think you notice they're not rising up, meaning the oil is not as hot as, like too hot actually. When you start seeing them rising up, it means the oil is now hot, very, very hot. So because my frying pan is big, I can fit all of them at once, just like that. So I start turning them, so the heat will keep increasing as the oil gets hotter. So with this kind of technique, by the time it starts getting brown on the outside, it means the inside is also ready. We are going to notice this at the end. I'll show you how the inside looks like. So guys, I think you notice how the color has turned properly. At this point, all I'm going to do is just to remove it. So guys, right here is our snack, our half cakes, you can see. It's still very hot, but I can guarantee you that it is so tasty. I think you can see the cracks. That's the crunchiness I was talking about, guys. So for us, we always serve this with 
preferably actually black tea and guess what that is exactly what i'm going to take this with but just in case it's your first time here on my channel guys you're so much welcome uh, make it a point to subscribe because i have a lot to share with you all otherwise thank you a lot for watching let me know what you think about our half cakes here in the comment section already guys and my name is Inis. for now i'm going to take tea oh yes i need to show you what the inside looks like it's hot so you can notice this it's actually so it's very hot guys i won't touch this for long but it's ready you can see that's what i was talking about guys so there we go